This is an Amazon Fire TV stick and this is a Roku Express. Both offer a reasonable streaming experience, but I've been asked to review this comparatively huge device, the Yugos UT8 Pro. I'm Christian Corley, you're watching Make Use of Review, so join me as I tell you about the past few weeks using the Yugos UT8 Pro. Shipping with an infrared and Bluetooth remote, this is it here, a two dual band antennae, a DC 5 volt 3 amp adapter, HDMI cable and a very basic manual, the Yugos UT8 Pro is housed in a 115 by 115 by 22 millimeter aluminum case. Inside a Rockchip RK3568 SoC with 64 bit 2 gigahertz quad core Cortex A55 CPU, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage work together with the integrated dual core GPU, a high performance VPU and high efficiency NPU to deliver an Android TV experience. 4K HDR is output via the HDMI port, which sits alongside the 5V DC port, an SPDIF optical port and two USB 3.0 ports. Additional USB 2.0 and USB OTG ports are included with a TF card slot for micro SD storage, TRRS audio out and an AUX in port. The Yugos UT8 Pro also has dual Wi-Fi MIMO antenna ports, handling Wi-Fi 6 with a top speed of 9.6 gigabits per second, along with a gigabit ethernet port. There's also a power button. Now, setting up the Yugos UT8 Pro and getting online is simple enough. Attach the antenna, hook up a monitor and optional audio, then plug it in, pair the remote and sign into Google. From that point on, you're ready to go. Or are you? Before receiving the Yugos UT8 Pro, I was informed that Disney Plus does not run on the device. Now that's a bit of a deal breaker in anyone's book, especially in a household with children. Fortunately, it's not true. Disney Plus, Prime Video, Netflix, YouTube, iPlayer, BritBox, they all work fine, as does Plex. Also working without issue are games. Thousands of games are available on the Play Store, from the latest awesome experiences to zeitgeisty viral sensations like Wordle. You've also got the advantage of retro games on the Play Store, thanks either to republishing, thank you Sega, or emulation with individual tools or an entire environment like RetroArch. With support for all manner of USB storage devices, the Yugos UT8 Pro can act as a complete media center environment. It cannot natively play AVI files, however, which is where extra codecs are required. The best solution here is VLC for Android, if you're wondering, although you could just as easily install Kodi. But the Yugos UT8 Pro is not without its problems. While it plays pretty much any video and audio streaming app without a problem and opens up a wealth of games on the Play Store, the remote control is utterly useless. On first inspection, it's a reasonable piece of tech, one that easily connects to the TV box over Bluetooth. The problem isn't so much the remote as the user interface, and unfortunately using them together is like attempting to iron the ocean. You've seen Android TVs in the shops and you know what the user interface looks like. That's not what you're getting with the Yugos UT8 Pro. Google has pulled public versions of its Android TV UI due to endless complaints over adverts, which means TV box manufacturers and resellers have to either produce their own Android TV-like launcher or just find something that will do. The remote is handy enough for basic navigation, but it struggles with swapping menu fields and entering text. Sadly, switching to a different launcher isn't really a solution as they're almost all very poorly designed or unusable on the Yugos UT8 Pro. Having tested several, I resorted to returning to the default launcher and switching to a wireless combination remote, a small device with a keyboard and touchpad. This made for a far superior experience. Of course, it didn't improve the user interface. 
There's also the problem that features highlighted in the manual don't appear to exist on the Yugoos UT8 Pro. I put this down to the device awaiting updates, but two have been received and installed with no Samba server or Daydream feature so far. Furthermore, the option to use an Android phone as a remote is also missing with only iOS given a working link on the Yugoos UT8 Pro website, which is accessed via QR code from the device's manual. In that respect, it's a bit of a mess really. It's also a bit of a funny shape. The dual antenna setup looks a bit out of place in a standard living area with the whole thing resembling, well, a compact router or even a mini PC. If you need more from your streaming box than you would get from a Roku or Amazon Fire TV stick, then an out and out Android TV like the Yugoos UT8 Pro is a good option. It's affordable, runs almost anything a standard Android device runs, and you can connect any storage to play media. While it is an absolute eyesore with a launcher to match, the Yugoos UT8 Pro has 4K accompanied with excellent sound quality. There is probably an argument in favour of using this Yugoos UT8 Pro as an Android PC too. But that default launcher and the poor choice of alternatives might just push you back towards Apple TV or Amazon Fire TV. Looking for more reviews of consumer tech of all kinds? Subscribe to the Make Use of YouTube channel where you'll also find tips, tricks and giveaways.